Xenobots, the first ever self-replicating living robots. In 2020, the global science community was all abuzz when a team of scientists revealed tiny programmable living things called Xenobots with several potential applications, from helping get rid of microplastics in the ocean to monitoring internal disease. A year later, a second wave of these Xenobots are now displaying unexpected new properties created using artificial intelligence and showing the ability to self-replicate. In this video, we're taking a deeper look into Xenobots, the first ever self-replicating living robots. You'll be wise to use that gray matter and hit that like and subscribe button. Then ring the notification bell for all the best technology our world has to offer. This is Big Brain Tech. Xenobots much like the futuristic concepts we see in movies and science fiction. Groundbreaking revelations in robotics and synthetic biology have already been abound in our present. In 2020, computer scientists and biologists teamed up to make a new class of living robotics, bringing to life virtual creatures that have now been called xenobots. These first-ever living robots are made of several thousand frog stem cells and are considered to be tiny programmable living things that have plenty of potential applications. Named after the African clawed frog, Xenopus slavis, these synthetic life forms are designed by computers and are able to perform a desired function, such as combining together different biological tissues. The first Xenobots were built based on blueprints generated by an AI program by a team of developmental and synthetic biologists, microsurgeons, as well as robotics and computer science experts. This computer designed anatomical blueprint later became the basis for the first living synthetic organism built entirely from frog skin and heart muscle. The team from the University of Vermont presented their novel discovery in January 2020, showing how they were able to repurpose living cells scraped from frog embryos to become entirely new life forms. These early xenobots were less than one millimeter wide, with the skin cells providing rigid support and the heart cells acting like small motors, contracting and expanding in volume to move the xenobot about. Joshua Bongai, a computer scientist and robotics expert who co-led the research, said that these xenobots are novel living machines. They're neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. It's a new class of artifact entirely, a living, programmable organism. The xenobots were designed using a supercomputer at the University of Vermont and then later assembled and tested by biologists at Tufts University. In designing the Xenobots blueprint, the Deep Green Supercomputer Cluster at UVM's Vermont Advanced Computing Core spent months to process data using an evolutionary algorithm to create thousands of candidate designs for the new life forms. The supercomputer, in an attempt to achieve the task assigned by the scientists, would reassemble a few hundred simulated cells into a myriad of forms and body shapes. The computer would then run the program over and over, driven by basic rules about bio physics based on what a single frog skin and cardiac cells would be capable of doing to attain a successful simulated organism with the most promising designs selected for testing. These designs were then sent to the team at Tufts, led by Michael Levin, the director at the Center for Regenerative and Developmental Biology at Tufts University, with key work by microsurgeon Douglas Blackiston, who transferred the designs into life. They gathered the stem cells harvested from the embryos of the African frogs, then separated into single cells and left to incubate. Using tiny forceps and an even smaller electrode, the cells were cut and joined under a microscope into a close approximation of the design produced by the supercomputer. These assembled cells would work together to become an organism never before seen in nature, with the organism using the contractions of the heart muscle cells to attain a forward motion guided by the computer's design, achieving movement for the living synthetic robot. These reconfigurable organisms were shown to be able to move in a coherent fashion, much to the program designed input, and could explore watery environments for days or weeks, powered by embryonic energy stores. Groups of xenobots would be able to move around in circles, pushing pellets, or just about whatever it is that the cells would be programmed to gather or attract into a central location. These synthetic living robots have plenty of potential applications and is groundbreaking on its own. From searching out nasty compounds in certain environments or monitoring radioactive contamination, to gathering microplastic in the oceans, or even traveling arteries within human beings to scrape out plaque. Xenobots have been designed to walk, 
swim, push pellet substances, carry payloads, and work together in a swarm to move debris scattered along the surface to be collected as neat piles. These xenobots might even be a solution to the microplastic problem in the ocean, with the behavior of swarms of xenobots displaying the ability to find and collect tiny bits of plastic into a large ball that could possibly be collected by a boat or even a drone, with a plastic ball able to be carried onto a recycling center afterwards. Plus, these xenobots are made of frog cells, making them entirely biodegradable. People have been manipulating organisms for human benefit since the dawn of agriculture, from changing produce growth patterns to producing entirely new strains of fruit. Now, genetic editing has become the more current and more known trend of this ability. Now it seems we are getting closer to creating xenobots that can perform a specific task at no cost to the environment. These living technologies can be produced to do a specific task, and when they're done with their job, they just become dead skin cells. Second Generation of Xenobots as research of these living robots continue, new developments within 2021 have now started to show impressively unexpected new properties. Existing xenobots have the capacity to survive for weeks without food and can even heal themselves after experiencing lacerations. It's this self-healing property that also brought on this new discovery. Using the same process, incorporating artificial intelligence within a supercomputer to virtually test billions of prototypes to achieve a notable design, the same team of biology, computer scientists, and robotics experts unveiled a new kind of xenobot, one that has the ability to self-replicate. These xenobots were first born when scientists extracted skin stem cells from frog embryos and cultured them in salt water. On their own, the cells clumped together, with the outer cells developing cilia. This allowed the clumps to move, making random piles of particles within their environment. These piles of cells they created on their own were actually new functioning xenobots. These biological robots, made from frog cells, literally replicate by smushing loose cells into new robots, which is a reproduction method not seen in nature. With this behavior observed by the researchers, they then went back to the supercomputer to have the AI predict what shapes of xenobots might be most efficient to achieve this outcome of self-replication. And the design put forth by the AI might astound you as it landed on a configuration that looks remarkably like Pac-Man. These miniature sea designs, predicted by an algorithm, were the most successful in producing baby xenobots that reproduce themselves resulting in multiple generations of new living robots. This ability to replicate now adds another layer of utility to the xenobots, pushing further the possibilities as seen from its original potential uses. Now the scientists want to extend the research by creating biological robots out of mammalian cells and aim to increase the robot's intelligence so that they could possibly operate without any human intervention at all. While this may seem like cause for concern, with plenty of ethical considerations to be put forth, the idea that these little living robots already exist in our time to push the doors to more groundbreaking discoveries and self-replicating possibilities is making this development truly exciting. So, what do you think about Xenobots, the first ever self-replicating living robots? Let us know in the comments below. Then be sure to like this video, subscribe to Big Brain Tech if you haven't already, then take a look at the other shocking videos.